So here we've got the two jams, and this is where we're going to do nearly all our arches from. Now the first one we're going to do is a segmental. Uh, we'll have um, probably, and decided yet, um, yellow bricks on the back, and then we'll have like the proper arch on the front. Um, so to do this, we obviously need to set out our um, rides and everything, get an arch centre made up, and then put it in place, and then we'll do it. So uh, today's a nice day, um, and I've only it's now quarter to three, so we'll only have time just to do the arch centre today, and then we'll come back another day, probably when it's windy and a bit drizzly, because I think this weather's only forecast for another couple of days. By the time I get back here, it won't be different weather. Anyway, we're now going to go over to here, where we have our arch centre table ready to go. So here's a square that I didn't include in the tools that we needed, um, but if I just uh, mark out the centre, and uh, if you remember from when we were on the drawing board, we said that the rise is one six for the span. So it just means that the rise will go into the span six times. So this being roughly 900, uh, a six for that would be a 150. So I'm not gonna just measure 150 up here because as we said before, we don't wanna do 150 if it means, if that was there and we had, we're gonna have a full brick on the arch, that the top of that brick always looks better if it comes right with a bed joint. We don't want this to be a little bit low, so you get a, a massive joint or you have to put little slivers of brick above it, that looks terrible. If anything, if you're going to be a little bit out, you want to be a little bit higher, so you just have to nibble away a bit of the, um, the brick as it goes across. I'll explain this more uh, when we actually get this um, set up on the actual um, uh, job itself. So we're looking for a 150, but we've now got to check that. Right, these are imperial bricks, so obviously we don't have a metric gauge to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it on the bottom here. I'm just going to mark my gauge on here. obviously the gauge that I have when I build this further up will follow this so we're going to follow it so obviously when we come to set our arch up we want to make sure that the top of the arch comes right with gauge so I'm now going to take it back over to the board and work from this so we want to do now is we've got the span and we're coming off this is going to be our spring and line so we know that we want to be technically 150 above that spring and line so that says that that should be our rise so our brick or for our arch our visual wants to sit on top of that now the bricks that we're using are bigger than normal because these are Imperials from um, the Imperial Brick Company and these are 225 so these are already 10 mil bigger than normal so if we were to have a 150 rise then our brick for our arch would sit on there now we just did a gauge so we want a gauge off here because this is the spring and line so if I can find the gauge marks to there so our gauge mark will put on our spring line and we can see that this brick needs to be raised about 10 I think it's probably about just under 10 mil I want to come up about 7 mil 7 mil to run through top of arch run through a gauge so just to recap on that, we've got our gauge on our spring and line, go to the top there, and then obviously we can measure 
for the Springer line to the underside of the brick now and we have got 157 rise so that is the closest that we're going to get to our 150 so that is where we're going to go now what we need to do to strike our arch is where that point is and where the spring line is we want to draw a line and if you remember from the drawings that we did we now have to bisect this and we could just to be 100 percent right on this do the same this side as well but you don't really need to do that but if you we just bisect this and we carried this line through where this bisected um, and intersected the center line then that would be our striking point down there so obviously we're now off uh, in a fresh air at the moment so i'm now going to put another board up so that we can spring our line through so now set my table up so obviously we're gonna have our uh, center line and then we're now where we've gone from the spring and point to the top of the rise we're now going to bisect this and obviously to bisect if you remember from the drawings we're just gonna arc and arc and draw a line straight through Here we go, just set this up, I'm just going to put this out to like the maximum. Scratch there, scratch there, and then from here, scratch there, and scratch there. Right, so where we have where the two meet, and then the two meet there. We are going to draw a faint line through those. What you do with a slightly fainter uh, pencil read. Anyway, we're just going to do a double check. We're going to do this side as well. So scratch there. To me should be also as a double check right where our center line is there my pencil's not that good to be honest bisect through here so what we need to do now is use a baton we'll screw a baton into there and then we'll just arc round on there Here 
there's our arch centre, ready to be cut out. So, we've cut all the struts to go in between, so we're going to obviously put these in like this. But before we do that, we want to mark our gauge out, so we're now going to set this out, set the bricks round, and then radiate and um, mark this up. So before we put the arch set together, we want to get it all set out. So here we can see the arch uh, drawn out and we're now going to set out the bricks on the extra dos and because obviously we're going to make this into an axed arch and I'll just briefly explain that now. So because we're going to have a, uh, a gauged arch as well we need to have this as a key brick. And we mark out obviously on the extra dos. Just wait for this plane to go. Normally people jump out, but um, it's a bit windy today, so they're just flying around. So yeah, we're gonna mark out on the extra dos, and then obviously we will radiate down to here. So we will cut these bricks uh, to fit into our axe starch. So we've just dry bonded on the extra dos. So we're just going to um, make sure we have a nice um, even joint all the way around. They're nice and tight, which is what we like. These bricks do vary um, a little bit uh, as they're handmade. So um, we might find that as I mark these up, um, some of these may uh, change a little bit. I may have to take a little bit off as I'm cutting them. But they're going to radiate through like this. So this will be the size of our um, axe bricks. These aren't vizoires, vizoires are um, special made bricks. Uh, these ones we're cutting on site so this will be termed as an axed arch. So basically I wouldn't, don't need to go all the way around because it'll all be the same but this is what we're going to be after. So the top obviously is going to be uh, the normal size which is 65mm and when we get down to Dos, we're down to 50 mil, so they're going to tape it down like that. So we can mark all the bricks up, get them all cut, and we'll put a, a fake joint in to bond it. So we'll just put a grinder through just about 15 mil deep every other one, just to give the illusion of a bonded arch. So that's what we're going to do.
So this is one half of um, the arc centre that we cut out. Um, I'm now going to screw this to there and obviously all these pieces we're going to go round. I'll probably space them out on this one, I wouldn't have them um, closely together. And then once I've um, screwed these up, or a few of them on, I'll start putting um, this, which is the face side because we've got the gauge marked on here. Um, I'll start screwing that on the other side as well. So I'll make a start. Lovely. Just get the gauge properly marked on it. That's the front one ready to go. So we then got to make a, a smaller one for the, the back arch, which we'll do next.